Uh, welcome. My name is Peter Strong, and I'm a professional online therapist. I offer therapy over Skype um, for working with difficult emotions, whether that be anxiety, depression, addictions, or um, traumatic memory. Um, I often work with people suffering from PTSD. Um, and I use this technique called mindfulness therapy, which is a very good way of working with difficult emotions. It's really quite different than conventional talk therapy because it helps you change the underlying structure of the process itself that creates um, your emotional suffering, whether that's anxiety or depression or uh, fear or compulsion. All emotions have an underlying structure. And during our online therapy sessions, we will begin to investigate that structure using mindfulness. Mindfulness is simply um, a very powerful form of consciousness, conscious awareness, that you apply to your emotions. We essentially learn how to meditate on our emotions. Most people have never thought to do this. They are, spend all their try, time trying to avoid their emotions or to get away from them in some way, to suppress them or, or to try and uh, put them out of the mind and replace them with some positive thoughts, for example. But any form of avoidance or suppression will simply make the problem worse. Those traumatic emotions or painful emotions are in a state of change. They are trying to heal themselves. But in order to heal, they must have your conscious awareness. That is the medium through which they can heal themselves. So rather than running away from our uh, difficult emotions, in mindfulness therapy, we turn towards them and we embrace them, not only with conscious awareness, but with that second important factor of mindfulness, which is called friendliness or um, self-compassion or, or, or loving kindness. This is what makes mindfulness quite distinct from basic awareness. It is the combination of this friendly quality with uh, conscious awareness. And when we apply that to our emotional um, suffering, then the emotional suffering will begin to change itself. It will, it will heal. It will continue its process of healing. Without consciousness, it cannot heal. With consciousness, it will heal. Um, now, how, does, how do emotions heal? Well, they do this by changing the imagery that is basically the core structure of the emotion. All emotions have imagery associated with them. That imagery holds that emotional energy in place to create the fear or the anxiety or the trauma. If it's a traumatic memory, for example or the depression. They all have imagery associated with them. This imagery is mostly un unconscious. We don't know about it because we never look at it. But during mindfulness uh, therapy, uh, and during the online sessions, I will teach you how to sit with your emotions and investigate the imagery of the emotions through mindfulness, through mindful awareness. When you uncover the image structure of the emotions, then you begin to explore how to change that imagery in a way that allows the emotion to uh, continue its process of healing. It may be as simple as moving the 
emotional imagery. Um, habits will probably have caused that emotional imagery to be to appear very close to you. So it's very close. Being very close is likely to be very large. It's also likely to be um, in a higher position than you. That's why we say things like, I feel overwhelmed, or it's getting on top of me, or I feel this weight on my shoulders, or whatever it might be. That language is actually simply reflecting this internal imagery. So seeing the imagery is a very important part of the healing process. Basically, the more you uncover that imagery, the more it continues to change itself. The imagery will adapt and become malleable and will start to change in that light of consciousness that you provide. So working with imagery is a very important part of the uh, mindfulness therapy that I teach online. And during the online therapy sessions, I will teach you in great detail how to meditate on your emotions to produce healing. Because it's such a direct approach, um, unlike talk therapy or counseling, um, you can expect to see quite significant changes in your emotions um, after usually three or four sessions of mindfulness therapy. Uh, we're working on the actual mechanism that creates that anxiety or depression or, or trauma. And that's why mindfulness therapy is so successful. Um, talking about emotions is not the same thing as being conscious of the emotions. It's, the consciousness is essentially looking directly at the emotion as it is, looking at its structure, uncovering that imagery, and it's that process that allows it to change. Um, it's quite different than talk therapy. Also, in this process, you start to develop a very different sense of yourself, of what we call your true identity, your true self you begin to see that you are not your anxiety. You are not your depression. You are not your traumatic memories. What you are, in essence, is that consciousness itself. The consciousness is like a space, like the sky, that contains those objects, the emotions, the thoughts, the memories. But you are not those thoughts or memories. So you begin to sense this different and much more spacious sense of your own true self that is not the contents of mind. This we call your true self. And it's interesting because it has no structure. It is not thought. It is like the sky. It is formless in nature, but yet able to contain any object whatsoever. And your true self is like that. It has tremendous resilience, um, compassion, love, creativity, all of these good factors that you, like everyone else, are trying to develop in yourself, they are already embedded in the structure of your true self. That's its nature. So through meditating on our emotions, on our emotional suffering particularly, you both you achieve two things. The first is that you facilitate the healing of those emotions. But the second is you develop this sense of your true self the one that is the observer of those emotions. So that becomes 
very interesting part of mindfulness therapy. It's not just about trying to fix things. It's about actually growing and developing it to your full capacity. So that's another extremely important part of online mindfulness therapy. If you're interested in learning more about um, online therapy, do please uh, go to my website and read more of the pages and watch more of the videos there to get a sense of this process. When you feel ready, contact me. Send me an email and then we can schedule an online therapy session. All you need is an internet connection, Skype, and PayPal to make secure online payments for your sessions, um, and you're ready to go. And as I say, this is very different than conventional counseling. It's very much faster. It's very much more empowering. And I really do expect my clients to see significant improvements after the first two or three sessions. Even the first session will produce some significant changes for you. Um, so please go to my website and uh, email me and let's schedule an online therapy session. The first session is a trial session, which means there's no upfront payment. And if, it's, if you feel that it's not right for you, um, then there's, there's no payment due. Um, you only pay for that session um, if you like the work, that you experience improvements within that first session, um, and that you want to continue sessions with me, uh, and then you would pay for that trial session. So if this interests you, please contact me. Thank you.